Hi everyone, welcome back to Boffy Racing. I'm here today with Jake to talk about his Mazda MX-5 Mark I, which has horrendous paint that we're going to detail and show you guys how you can turn your horribly sun-marked car into something that really pops. So Jake, take it away. Yeah, so this is George, it's a 1989 Mark I. Uh, we picked it up from Cornwall. It was originally a 1.6 automatic car. It is now manual swapped, uh, 1.8 BVT swapped, and has a few other goodies on it. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Can't wait to show you guys around this. But first of all, let's do some beauty shots to show you what kind of condition this thing is in. So first things first, we need to give this thing a quick rinse. It's been about 12 months since Jake has owned this car, and I think he's cleaned it honestly about twice, so it is well overdue. And when he picked it up, it didn't look sun bleached and nasty, it looked like this. So let's give this a quick rinse so we can get to detailing it. In this video, we've partnered with Squidding Detailing. Those guys have sent us a bunch of products to try. So those guys are based in the UK, just like us. They hand pick every product that they supply. They don't just go to one supplier and get the whole range from those guys. They choose the best of every product from each supplier. So we're really confident that they are incredible quality detailing products. In here, we have the Alka Froth Snow Foam, which is a bit more concentrated than uh, one of the other snow foams that they supply. However, Jake's car is really grimy and it really needs something really powerful to, to eat through that dirt. Snow foam this bad boy off. So we've just left the snow foam to dwell for about five or 10 minutes. I've never used a snow foam that clings that well. I'm really, really impressed with that. But let's just get rinsing this off so we can blast off some more of that horrible road grime. So I'm now just gonna put some citrus degreaser over the affected areas of the car that the snow foam's not been able to pull all the grease and grime out of. Uh, the snow foam is really good, but this is just gonna be that extra step just to really work those really, really stubborn bits of fill. So let's get spraying this on. I 
I'm now just going to rinse off the citrus pre-wash. I don't want to get to contact wash just yet. Also, I'm going to wash the wheels in a second. That citrus pre-wash you can dilute down, but I have used it neat because the paint is so grimy, so full of filth. Let's get to rinsing this off. So we'll just show you the power of this citrus pre-wash. It should just remove all that grime. Genuinely an excellent product. Nothing else was getting that off. Now it is time to clean the wheels. I'm using Blue Lagoon premium wheel. I'm using Blue Lagoon. I won't say that. Now it's time to get to cleaning the wheels. I've got a specific wheel cleaner here from Squid Ink Ding Tailing called Blue Lagoon. And it's uh, pH neutral and it is going to cut through all that road grime and brake dust that is currently still lingering on Jake's wheels. Let's get to spraying it on. To be totally honest, a little bit annoying spraying with these trigger sprays, but the full-sized products that Squid Ink Detailing do have are actually full-sized triggers, so much, much easier to use. But this is what we've got, and this is what we will use. So once I've done spraying this, I can also agitate it with uh, some detailing brushes. So I'll go get those out in a minute. And you should be using this diluted one-to-one -one for really, really dirty wheels or uh, down to as little as nine to ones if you have very lightly soiled wheels. And now I'm just gonna agitate the wheel. They smell so good. The bilberry flavor. Flavor? I haven't been licking it. <laughs> the bilberry smell is awesome. But yeah, let's agitate these wheels just to get the most grime out of them possible. To be honest, I could really do with claying clay these bad boys. That would make sure that they were really, really, really clean. But yeah, here, hopefully agitating it a little bit will, will help. So I've just finished agitating that wheel and I'm just gonna pressure wash it. To be honest, if I really wanted to get that as good as it could be, I would hit that with a bit of old clay bar. Although Jake, it's gonna take me, I think probably two hours to clean your wheels. They are so disgusting. But I've probably been agitating that for, I don't know, a couple of minutes. Let's see exactly how good these wheels come up. That is so much better. How much better is that? I'm going to work around the rest of these wheels so that we can get cracking on this paint. After what feels like an absolute age pre-wash in this car, it's time to actually do a contact wash. I'm using the two bucket method. I'm using the car wash that's provided by Squid Ink Detailing and it's foamed up absolutely beautifully. So let's see how it pulls all the rest of the grime off of this manky car. I've just finished washing and claying Jake's car and the state of the paint, whilst there wasn't that many contaminants in the paint, it is so sun damaged. So I'm now going to whip out the dual action polisher. I have some Hex Logic compounding pads by Chemical Guys. I've also got some other pads from those guys so we can go over it in a few stages to really, really buff it to a real fine finish. Uh, it's just time just to get cracking. There's quite a bit of work to do on this car, so let's go.
So we've just finished polishing Jake's car. As you can see, the results speak for themselves. It's come up an absolute treat. I am now going to apply some squid ink aquaphobe wax to this car, which is a PTFE infused, I think it's Caranuba wax, I believe. It's an amazing blend. What we'll do is we'll apply it to the polished half of the bonnet. As you can see, we've left half of it completely untouched, only cleaned. And once we apply this, you'll be able to see how good, how hydrophobic this is, and also the difference that it makes to protecting the finish of your car over the long term. So let's get to applying this on, take it outside and hit it with a pressure washer. There you go, it's outside. Let's spray it with some water so you can see how good this wax is and how clean it is. So today is a new day. I've got some cool things to tell you about Jake's car. So let's take it for a little rip so you can see what it is all about. Let's go. driving Jake's car is because it's actually pretty interesting. It started out life as a 1989 1.6 automatic, which we picked up from Cornwall. We then immediately ripped out that engine, fitted a 1.8 BVT, mated it to a five-speed box, and added a torsion differential. The whole thing is controlled by an ME442, and it made 142 horsepower on our dyno, which we think is really, really good until you find out that actually, when it was dynoed, both the exhaust cam and the intake cam were retarded a whole tooth, which means there is still power left on the table for this thing, which is amazing, because it absolutely rips. In terms of suspension, this car is on my old setup. It has Meister R Zeta S's and a set of Jackson Racing anti-roll bars. In terms of wheels and tires, Jake has retained the 14-inch lightweight alloy wheels, wrapped them in NS2R tyres and fitted Jazz Performance 25mm spacers. I really like the way that this car looks with the spacers. It's got a cheeky little RS lip and a KG Works spoiler which came off Winston which make this whole thing look just OEM plus. It's super cool. In terms of the way that this thing sounds, which is really great. It's fitted with one of our stainless steel exhausts and it really, really sings. <laughs> wow. 
In terms of interior, Jake has fitted a 320mm steering wheel with perforated leather. It's really lovely to hold in the hand. And as you'll remember from our last video, we also fitted that BG Racing 40mm spacer. The driving position is absolutely wicked. This thing is a proper ripper. Honestly, NA power. Oh, so good. What a thing. Let's take Jake his car back so that he can tell us what he thinks about his new paint. Here you go, Jake. Here's your horrendous bunch of keys Thanks back. Much. I think there's some weight saving to be done there, if anywhere. James will be disappointed. He certainly will. Uh, what do you think of the paint? Oh, it looks mega, to be fair. I honestly did not realise it could look like that. You've, uh, you've done a job. How, what kind of job? A good job. <laughs> thanks. <laughs> and uh, yeah, thanks for lending your car. Uh, we've certainly enjoyed it. We've made the most of it. I can um, tell, yes. Yeah, I think you're gonna have to come back out here and clean it yourself this time around. <laughs> I so, use the hose. Just a hose? Yeah. So thanks everybody. Thanks very much for watching. Leave us a comment down below. Tell us what the last cleaning product that you guys bought was. Subscribe to this channel for more content every couple of weeks and hit that bell notification to make sure that you're notified every single time that we upload a video. See you next time.